Well, good morning. This is Steve Moore, and I'm here with a group of relic hunters. We are in southern Mississippi, and let me introduce you to Rob Stevens here, our friend. He's kind of set this up, and he's going to tell us a little bit about where we are and what we're going to do today and uh, who's here with us. I'm Rob Stevens. We're down here today relic hunting in south Mississippi. Back December, late December of 1864, there was a large number of uh, Yankees camp in here along this creek not far from the Gulf Coast down here. About 3,000, 3,500 probably. And um, they've been hunting, we've been hunting along down through here up in and out for two or three years probably. And this is a spot that we've never hunted. And we're going to bring everybody in here today and we're going to fall out on it and we're going to dig buttons all over the place and some bullets, maybe a buckle or two, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know about the buckle, but we're going to find something. But uh, the place has been hunted before, but there hasn't been any modern machines in here in probably 10 years. It's what the landowner said. So we're going to hunt from where we're standing right now all the way to the creek back here in the back. And there's supposed to be a latrine back here somewhere, but whether we'll find it or not, I don't know. But we got Steven over here tied his shoes, Butch Holcomb, Brian Pennington, Keith, uh, Keith Cochran, Keith Cochran, Alter Reynolds, Tony, and you already know Steve. So, bunch of outlaws. <laughs> <laughs> What would a 58 caliber run on there, 70 something? 58 caliber is going to be right around 70 something on there. When you get up around 70, up close to a penny, okay. that's where the 58 caliber is going to be at. So, uh, let's see. Is that one of the updated ones? That's one of the updated ones. That's a high tone right there. I mean, a, a mid tone. Anyway, that's a mid-tone right there. You you think you need to ground balance again? Push this and bob. Other than that, now, if you think you got a piece of iron down there that may be scratchy sounding, the iron's going to be a low, high, low, like that, and uh, press this iron audio, and it'll help you decide if it's iron or not. And then you press it again and turn that iron audio on when it's on. You'll see it right there. Turn it off, you won't see it there anymore. Right, so let you turn you loose. But then bullets should hit a high tone. Reading around uh, 66, 67. 66 and not jumping at all so that may be a good signal I'm gonna wait, walk way on beyond you here. I'm not trying to. No, I away. know. Just trying to find some clear land. That's a bullet. That's a bullet. That's what I found mine too. First Civil War bullet of the day. That's For me. Wipe some of that dirt off of it. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty. You got it off? Mm -hmm. Hey, Rob. What's up? I just dug a bullet right here. 
I don't know. I ain't never seen one like it. Two yep. That's no. What I got. I don't know what they are. No, it's uh, it's three ring. Oh, I got a two ring. That's a 54 caliber three ringer. And it's got the making look of possibly being a Mississippi rifle bullet. We might be on some cavalry stuff because that Spencer shell casing being dug up the side of the hill. Mm -hmm. There should be some stuff in this place. Ain't, I bet you ain't nobody ever hunted in here. Maybe, maybe not. There's gonna be some stuff, huh? Then we can do it again. I bet you it's another one right here beside it. This is reading 66 now, just like the uh, bullet did that I just dug. Right there, Brian. This is, uh, I think, the same kind, maybe. That gives a real strong signal. Very strong. Hits uh, 66 to 68. About every time. Let's check the hole again. Another one. Oh, all of them's got the roots. Makes it hard to dig. Jumping all over the place now. 75, 70, 61. Got it out. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. 62, 64. How about that? What'd you find, Tyler? Mini ball. I don't know what hey, caliber it is. Yeah, I out of your hole. About four to six inches, maybe. Bouncing between 74 and 76.
piece of lead. That's some kind of old piece of shot. It's old, flattened out like it hit something. Are you on like the second to the last sensitivity or all the way? I was all the way. Yeah. Was it was it feeding back on yours? No. How deep is that one? Showing, jumping between eight and ten. So many roots, you can't hardly dig. What did it read? Sixty-five, or a little higher. Something here that's 46. Look at it. There it is. How about that? Cool. Yeehaw. I'll take that. There's another one right there. It's reading 65, 68. Still in the hole. Right here. I think that may be a different kind there. We'll see when we uh, get back and clean it up. Huh. Something came up. It's 63 on the surface. Must be small. Huh. Mini ball. It's uh, fired and skimmed off something. It's all slicked out on one side here. It's got a couple rings and then smoothed out where it hit something there. That was pretty deep. You can see by the size of the hole. If I put the pinpointer down in there, that's, I don't know, eight inches or so maybe. And it kind of gave a low, sweet sound. And I finally flipped it out of the ground and read uh, 62 on the surface. But the reason I kept digging it was because I could not get any iron and I continued to get a signal. So I had to see what that one was. It's uh, just like the other bullets that I dug, this is uh, reading uh, 67, the other ones were 66, so 
This is a little shallower though, but I bet you it's a bullet. This is probably not a bullet right here. This ground's harder than I thought it was. You know it? Yeah. This ground's pretty rough. Yep, another bullet. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Let's see. That's a 58 there, ain't it, Brian? Yep. Uh-uh, uh that's 54. Is it got a flat back or a cone? It's cone. Oh, huh, it's not a Spencer. They're not Spencers. In the 50s, man, it was up in the 70s and bouncing everywhere. Piece of lead. Buckshot or bucking ball or something. I'm not sure. Just a small piece of lead. I don't know. Who got it? I just dug it right here. I thought it was one in 45 and started to walk off. You tell what it is, Brian? It's an eagle, bud. Oh, it's an eagle. It looked oh, like okay. a, it looked like a crest on it to me. Sound good? Yeah, it read 45, just like in 45 bullets. I think I here. That's the same thing, whatever yeah. it is. I think I had two in one hole here. I didn't know I was gonna dig one. I'm gonna get out of your way. I'm gonna let Brian. Oh, you fine. Almost in the same hole. Yep. You want to get that in the bottom of the hole there? Maybe something different. It's reading right around 70, but it's pretty shallow.
Another bullet. Uh, that's a larger, I think that's a 58 caliber mini there. Clean it off a little bit for you. What did that one read? That one read right around uh, 70. I tell you, the AT Pro uh, loves these bullets. That's number six. This is a 58. I went up in there, every bit of it's fluffed. There's Amazon. not no dirt there, it's fluffed the dirt. I mean, it's unbelievable how deep that stuff could be in there. But Tony's fired in. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got an infield? Fired infield. Oh, man, now. He see. got two of these up there, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's just within the first hour and a half of digging. Well, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Doing we good. Need to, we've got a bunch of modern bullets, too. Yeah. Oh, AT Pro's doing good today. Let's go find some more. All right, this is the courthouse bluff up here in South Mississippi where we're going to be hunting today. This place dates back to probably about 1805. And everybody in this part of the country, this is where they had to come to do any kind of court records, anything pertaining to anything, this is where they had to come. And it sits up here on the high, high bluff overlooking this river. And today we're gonna come in here and we're gonna try to hunt with old outbuilding set and old courthouse set up here on this bluff. And then at the base of this big old hill was a ferry crossing where during the Civil War, a huge number of Yankees come through here and they ferried the Leaf River. But today, we're going to get in here hunting these iron pockets and see if we can pull out some old coins and some maybe some good military buttons. piece of brass
It's part of a uh, toe tap. Uh, uh, went on the front of the shoe, a little toe tap. That's what it is. That's a little nail hose where they nailed it in the front of the shoe. Front or rear. Probably the front. It's not a complete one. But you continue on down that road from it, there's going to be a strip of trees in there. Uh -huh. And there's going to be another pasture place. Uh -huh. Now in that strip of trees between them, I do three flat eyes out of there. There got to be some out in that field, you know. Are you going down there? Well, I can, yeah. I mean, is it a long walk for you? No. This was just a signal right up under the uh, log here. I think it's pretty shallow. Yeah, there it is. I think that's a piece of uh, probably pewter. It's got a little shell on it, ornamental shell. Some kind of design. It's jumping 57, 61. But on the other side of it is iron, so I'm hoping that it's not catching the edge of that. And just give me a false signal. Sounds pretty good though. bullet. I don't know what caliber that is. A little pistol bullet looks like.
stuff is, is in a little band through here. Where's your sweet spot at? I would say um, right in here starting out. Okay. Uh, um, I have a feeling there's going to be stuff all through here. Well, when I see Rob kind of going through there, doing that, that's when I'm going to follow him then. <laughs> And uh, Civil War soldiers had a uh, chewing gum fall too. <laughs> you, you knock that out. Here you go. Open your mouth. There you go. Here, open your mouth. Come on. And then at the base of this big old hill was a ferry crossing where during the Civil War a huge number of Yankees come through here and they ferried to Leaf River. They, uh, they went. They ferried here, I don't know exactly where they went, but they come on through central Mississippi down through here. But today we're going to get in here hunting these iron pockets and see if we can pull out some old coins and some, maybe some good military buttons. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting right here beside me. <laughs> he, he wonder what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, ow! <laughs> So I'm gonna pop me a good one. <laughs>